Hi guys and welcome to this, our final video of the data analysis section and it's the last one on time series as well before we move on to the next core data section on the website. Um, it's really good to see you. If you haven't already done so and you think you could, there's a doohickey in the corner that I would greatly appreciate it if you could click and subscribe. Turn on that little notification bell and tell your mates as well. The whole of the further mass course is going to be uploaded over the next few weeks and months and hopefully it is helpful for you. Now, as I say, we have dealt with trends and cycles and all that type of stuff previously in previous videos and we're just going to bring it all together now with this trend line and forecasting what on earth does that mean well as i say as usual having spent all of this time doing the previous uh, you know videos then life uh, changes because they, they're going to throw a curveball in and actually the only curveball they're going to throw in ladies and gentlemen is they're going to change the language again right so beforehand we have predicted and now we're going to change that to one word forecast right so for time series data for some reason we have trend lines which are nothing more than lines of best fit and we now have forecasting when it has prediction and pretty much if you want to stop the video now uh, i'm joking there are a few examples coming up all right so fitting a trend line as I say, it is no different than what we've done before. In fact, in the previous video, that's very much what we did for our de-seasonalized data. So we've got some examples here from Cambridge, uh, further mass textbook. Thank you very much, Cambridge, for providing these. The year numbers are given 1981 all the way through to 1992. My mind is already going, well, I'm not going to put those into my spreadsheet or my uh, statistics sheet. Uh, I know I'm going to have to number those one through uh, whatever it'll get to. And I've got these numbers here. Uh, which is the number of government schools in Victoria over that period. Okay, well, realistically speaking now, the CAS is going to do all the hard work for me. Let's just zoom in just a little bit so we've got it bigger for you guys to see. We know we can put the CAS. We are going to number our years 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way through to 12. Now, there is a trick coming here, a huge trick um, that unfortunately lots of people fall foul of. Uh, later on in the exam. So hopefully you'll be aware of, uh, of this and not make the silly mistake. We have year and we have number. No different from what we've done before. We bang it in a calculator, we hit our little set stats graphs, we make sure one is switched on X, Y line because it's a time series graph, year and number. And lo and behold, out comes my graph there of, I think this was already de-seasonalized data. Nope, it's a trend line. What do we now do? Well, it seems to be that data doesn't need to be smooth. There's no way for me to smooth it. And so I'm going to do a regression analysis. So as we've done before, we hit the word calc, regression and linear regression, making sure once again to tell our calculator to do year, which goes on the horizontal, and number which goes on the vertical and up comes my formula or the, at least the values I can put in my formula as a plus bx we know the value of a and the value of b is going to be really really important and yes so actually we know that the y value if you remember is number the x value is year and so we can now put number is equal to 2169 that's my value of a minus 12.5 times the year bang done no different than what we've done before no, don't press stop, not just yet, guys. This is a preview video and you've reached almost the end of it, but it does continue over on mathguru.com. Mathguru.com, yep, that's my custom website. Bits of it you can see around me at the moment. That has been designed to allow the videos to be easier searched than they are on YouTube. So you can search by chapter, by textbook. Each video has downloadable notes for you, so you can put them in your summary book or your exercise book. There are exam questions and there is more and more content and more stuff coming as time allows. So head on over there, it's absolutely free to sign up and I'm doing everything I can to make sure that you guys enjoy maths and actually take out the mastery of maths. It is not as hard as you think, it is all smoke and mirrors. Okay, thanks very much, take care guys, I look forward to seeing you in another video. Stay safe.